Yeah. Hello, Martin. How's it going, mate? <laughs> <laughs> a bit moist. A bit wet, mate. Yeah. Look at you. Look at me. Dripping. Absolutely dripping. We've made it back to Mount Pleasant, mate. Is this what adventures are about? This is not as pleasant as I thought it would be. I don't think honest. so. Hey, you looking? A bit moist. Mate, you're moist. You're allowed to say that. Sorry, mate. It's oh, sorry. Flat whites, that's not a bad <laughs> idea. Not a bad idea at all. Oh, look good, buddy. You're looking really good. Fresh so, as a daisy. I reckon that's the best riding I've had. I, I, I was giggling my head off all the way down there. What a laugh. Just had a, an enforced stop. Lead rider Steve got uh, a load of wire fence tangled up around his back end. Check out this pick here. Lucky it didn't bring him off. Um, pretty much why we send him up front so he can cop for all the crap in the road. Uh, <laughs> but wow, that's uh, that was a lucky one. You get something like that tangled up, it just locks your back end up and you're just skidding into oblivion. So he's doing well to keep that upright. Every man and his dog with the Leatherman tools, clipping and snipping and bending it out, he got it all free. Right, so we're back on it now. Cracking little tracker for me, a bit gnarly. Just keeping the eyes peeled for kangaroos here. This is proper rule country. Not far from Swan Reach, that sort of area, South Australia. There he is, Martin is the uh, founder of South Australian Adventure Bike Riders on Facebook. Check out his Facebook group, especially if you're an SA, top bloke, experienced rider. Should we catch him up? difference in terrain that we've got coming up here this looks fun Let's see what he's doing now we'll stand up here straight through the dropper gear I want some I want some pork underneath me got thirds of cracking gear for this sort of section you've got so much power just to bounce through these sections and sand's no problem you just power on This is a nice gnarly section, I like this. Let's see if we can get a bit of a pace so we can catch mine up. Not likely, he's a way in it. Got some good holes there, yes. I've been playing with my suspension and that's much better. But backed my, my preload right off at the back end. So I'm only light, so I don't need a lot of compression. This is it. avoiding that puddle. Let's see what Martin does with this one. <laughs> yes. I sort of getting a bit more dialed in now. I've eased my way into this ride. Everybody was a little bit bravado early doors and I didn't want to get carried away with it. I'm just get comfortable before I start sending it on a little bit and just get dialed in with the bike a bit more I'm not been on the bike for a week or two and uh, it's just good just on a long a couple of days here we've got and this is a, you don't want to be coming off on the first hour do you because you're not dialed in so just I just took it steady but now I'm feeling a little bit more confident things are getting a little bit more obvious as to what I'm trying to do more 
confident with what's happening. I've got these new tyres on, which I've not really tested at all. So the, the tyre front is brand new. I've got a Dunlop D606. I've never used one of them, and it's quite a gnarly beastie. I'm enjoying it. Sand's been good so far. What little we've had this morning. On the back, I've got a Mitus. Dakar E07 I think it is and it's uh, proving rather splendid pressures I haven't really lowered that much I've got about 20 uh, 25 in the rear and about 22 and a half in the front more by in fact that's what's in there I, I lowered my front down the other day it came after I got it fitted about 34 in, I dropped it down just to get it into the 20s just so I can get up here and not have to piss around with my tyre pressures. And uh, I've not felt the need to change it at all. I don't want to go too low, there's quite a lot of gnarly rocks and I don't want to end up with a pinch flat. I do have heavy duty tubes in there from Michelin. So basically we've got about 20 25 of us today, something like that. There's two or three non T7s, but the rest of us are. All Tenere. Supported by Yamaha Australia. Oh, this is a great section. Look at the rocks here. And I'm wearing my new Alpine Star Tech 7 Dry Stars. And they're proving to be quite a good bit of footwear for me. For an adventure rider, why wouldn't you want a yep, bit of a mechanical? Why wouldn't you want waterproofs? Look at that. How do you pronounce that? Is it Gula? Proper XT 600 Tenere. Love that. And that'll be Mike. Hello, mate. How good was that? I'm just starting to get dialed in now. Yeah, yeah. I, I came through there. Again, slower, but more in control. Happier. Yeah. It's just getting dialed in, aren't we? Loving it. Found a great track here. This has been a bit of fun. I've missed out on a bit of audio, a bit of filming, really. But there's some more here to be had. The lads up front are sending it on a little bit now, so I'm just going to try and pick it up a little bit and see if I can uh, join them. The more you ride, the Obviously you get more dialed in. We I took it pretty deliberately to pretty steady early doors. There were a few lads that dialed in straight away it seemed and there were lots of bravado. A couple of near misses, a couple of lads going straight on into corners. You're like, oh just be patient. But this is fun. Good riding, funny down here. There's some great tracks and trails, and having a good time. Got a bit aware though. If you're new to this, some of these lads have come from some of the most amazing paddocks as kids on the little bikes they brought up on them, and I'm trying to bloody keep with them. And I've got to be aware of my own mortality, not to follow them out of my comfort zone. Some of these lads are clearly very decent riders, or braver than me. I have to say I'm really enjoying this though. First standing up. Look 
bit of colour change there. It suggests it's sand, but it's still gravel, but... I prefer to be out of my saddle if it's going to be sand. Great section. Woo. This is fucking superb. What a laugh. drifting around that corner. Holy shit holy. That was awesome. I don't think you'd be able to, I could feel it. I don't think you'd be able to pick it up on video but I was like, woo! I am not Paul Tarres. I reckon this has been some of the best riding I've had. Okay, so that's day one of the South Australian, what is it, SA Outback Motorcycle Adventures ride. Hope you enjoyed that. And these are the digs. Look at the view we've got here from outside the digs. It's the River Murray. And we're staying at the Loxton Hotel. I've pulled a bit of a blinder here because as we go up here, you can see all the lads here. Got a few bikes and everybody's got the rooms and uh, all the bikes are lined up. Fantastic. So we go around here, everybody's got a little bit of a room and I wasn't sure just how good it was gonna be. Excuse the boots. So what we've got, as you can see, I've got my new Tech 7s, they're known to be squeaky. So we've got the spot in the corner. I've got me and Matey, he's from Victoria, he's in the corner, he's got himself a place under cover here, look, for the bikes. How good is that? This makes me laugh. 318, garden view. <laughs> I thought that's not that's much not much of a garden. However, how good is this? Let me show you around. So we're staying here at the Loxton Hotel. Of course, the standard. Oh, this is not a dump. This is a nice place. Wasn't expecting this, really. I've got a big bed to myself tonight, which is nice. And uh, telly. No, oh, that'll be getting used. And that's the garden view. How oh, bloody splendid. So, yeah. That's uh, day one. Put up a bit of footage for you. Hope you enjoyed that. I'll do some more footage tomorrow. And uh, this is all courtesy of... Uh, SA Outback Motorcycle Adventures, all thrown in. Apart from the, uh, this is, this is if, we, if we help ourselves to the minibar, we've got to pay for it. Oh, oh. are they chewy mints? Bloody hell, they are as well. I love chewy mints. Better leave them alone. Otherwise, I pay for them. But uh, that's it. Thought I'd better show you minibar properly. This stuff, like right, Gilded Lily Shiraz. Oh, them gold bling on there, that's all right, isn't it? What's that? It's got various awards. They don't mean shit, but it, it will be crap. What impressed me? 2015. And guess what? I won't be drinking it, because I don't need to. 
There it is at the bottom. It's only twenty dollars. Splendid. What have we got on there? It's not silly prices, is it, for uh, mini bar stuff? It's sort of stuff, sort of price you pay it on the run at your servos. About the same, really. But yeah, not bad. That'll do. I don't need any of that. I'm not going to use any. Not bad. Tell I've had a bit of time. I've, had, I've ironed me Rider Guide t shirt. I'll be wearing that for dinner. Shameless promotion. <laughs> anyway, it's dinner time. Catch you later. My boss is hungry too. Is, it, is he alright with pets in here? Is he alright? What do you want, buddy? What do you want? He wants a beef schnitzel. Thanks. Something a bit different. <laughs> oh, that was clever. Why did you do that? Cocked up there. So what I'll do is unscrew this in a minute. Hello. No, I'm taking it off so I can film going across. Something a bit different. Got an idea while well, I can. There you go.
splendid. <laughs>